Good morning and welcome to another Haskell Kata. Uh, today I will do the bowling game Kata again, uh, the one that we uh, did yesterday. Um, and I want to try and put some more uh, type safety in. Uh, yesterday we used int as an interface because that was what the Kata said. I want to see if we can quickly go to a stronger type. So let's see what uh, happens. Mm. Oh wait. Sorry, still. Okay. Let's see where it takes us. The bowling game kata is uh, you can find on the site kata log, uh, box, and it's uh, full of interesting kata. Let's see what we can do here. Let's get into it. Uh, bowling rules, ten frames, and the interface is uh, I roll int and int score. Let's see what we do if we roll. Mm. Uh, it used to be that we said from that integer we could change a game because that's uh, what the void means. Uh, we are changing an object, that a game object. So let's keep that here still. change the game but uh, we need to be able to call it how would we call it uh, let's say we're just playing a game of one frame This is the interface through which we can test it, so we need to call kata score anyway. implement something at least um, of course with the wrong score um, but this could be the interface uh, we need to provide the ints um, and we do this one at a time so the game should be able to add that role to the score let's see if we want to keep this as a list of frames and each frame can be either uh, let's say a strike uh, yeah a strike it can be uh, two rolls but it could be unfinished 
yeah, that's the trap that uh, that you have if you start to just to think up front. But well, let's go uh, this way. Um, so that would be in a complete uh, complete frame. And there is the final frame, which has three. But this can only be done in the, uh, after nine. So I think we can leave this out and add the final frame here. So each time we inspect the game, we know what kind of frame was uh, rolled. Hmm, let's try. Oh. Ah, I want to describe this differently because this will get confusing. this um, if we have the frames if we have a roll and we have a game that has no frames we can add it and we have to see what the last frame was and if the last frame is incomplete then we can add it and otherwise we need to add a incomplete roll unless it's a strike okay So let's start from there. If the length of the game is oh, wait, no, let's just add let's just let's just add it to the frames. Um, and um, maybe it's easier if we add um, like a stack so the, f the first frame in the list is the last frame that was rolled but there might be none so frame was incomplete the first part of the roll then we return the same game and make that frame complete how do we do this Ah, wait, maybe we just should do an um, uncons of this. A, a pattern match. Hmm. Okay, let's let's do a pattern match. <laughs> Case. Okay. If we have the last frame and the rest, and that last frame was just incomplete. No, no, not just incomplete an incomplete frame then we return the same game but the first will then be a complete
frame if the frame that we have was complete then we just add another frame unless If it wasn't a complete frame, we just have to add another thing. So even better, we don't need to know what's in the first thing. If it was empty, we still can. Uh, prevent the incomplete role even if it was a strike but unless the game has 10 rolls then we should add a final role so if we have 10 then we return that same game but we just a final one oh yeah and if pins is <laughs> if pins is 10 we have to and this is in this case an incomplete frame we will never roll 10 but if we are here this is an incomplete if pins is smaller yeah as a strike okay this is the uh, try to separate everything uh, when uncle bob dem demonstrates a kata he says this is totally unnecessary because well you have to match up front into the rules and afterwards you will have to untangle the rule and the the, the types again so we're still trying to roll one this is still not necessary. Well, no. That was this one. Um, we still haven't rolled one, so we need to score the game. If we score the game, which has We have to count every frame and see what comes next. So we have to take them by two. Let's take the first frame and see what it is. Um, if we don't have a game, then we can return zero. If we have frames, and the first frame is hmm, incomplete. Then we have to assume nothing follows and return the score of that rule 
if we have one that is complete. Then something follows. And if it's complete, we have to return, but we have to see whether a plus b is 10. Then we have to return 10 plus the score of the next frame. No. Wait. We have to see whether frames is complete or incomplete. <laughs> if nothing follows, it's just done. Okay. If otherwise better match more if it is a complete frame and we have another incomplete frame and a plus b is 10 we do 10 plus c If we have another complete one, and a plus b is 10, we do it. still 10 plus c, but also we will score the game that is left from here. Can we bind this in a pattern? Yeah, we can. No, we can't. Oh, those are the frames still. Oh, we forgot to take the final frame into account. Oh, this is going nowhere. And it's going there fast. <laughs> Let's see. We cannot recurse if we don't use the rest of the frames well let's do it like this then the game for our frames is the rest and the final wall we will take and we don't need to know what this is because it's a spare but it could also be strike. And now it's not so interesting what follows here, by the way. It doesn't need to be empty. It can also be a strike. And for that strike, we need to just add complete 10 and score the rest. Okay. Now. We can have a strike as the first frame. Wait, this can also be the rest. No, we need to know what, what follows in this case. Um, Try and capture all the rules. Um, say we have a strike and the rest. What 
if the strike is the last one. So return just the 10. Oh, we have to take into account the final frame. If nothing follows, we have to see what the final frame is. Here we don't, but here we do. case as well. Okay. If after the strike we still have more, so it can be any of these again. This is a long time of summing up the rules the rules I'm so sorry um, but I have to finish this if we have a complete roll and we have to add both the C of the rolls from that frame and if it's another strike we have just to double 10 and go on from there do we still miss anything watch the situation oh probably after incomplete frame it expects that we still are able to have something let's just add those there I mean those are invalid games but still what are we missing a complete frame that is not 10. <laughs> okay, so we have to double up these. Um, somehow, if A and B is not 10, Then we just add A and B. Okay. We will have to simplify this later. This is very ugly, becoming very ugly. Here we add A and B, we, we skip C. So it actually doesn't matter. Maybe we can collapse these rules quickly. If A and B are not 10, it's also A and B plus the rest. And here, if A and B is not 10, it's also still A and B and not the strike. So these probably can be collapsed into one. If A and B is not 10, it doesn't matter what the rest is. So these are not necessary. Okay, finally, apply all hints, strike if it's a empty list, it's just a list of one thing. I think we got there. And now the problem is, because we tried to solve everything in type and rules, we just wrote one test and it should run. Maybe we can do something with property tests here. Okay. We still have five minutes left. <laughs> should we go there? Um, single row of one, uh, game of, what did we do yesterday? M maybe I should uh, take up those scores up front and see what happens uh, of all, 
all ones leaves us with the no, the game of all zero with, leaves us with a score of zero. And we should have um, uh, we need to fold the scores again. Or is it flip fold? Well, let's see what it suggests. Um, so we have 20 zeros. Flip fold. Oh, it should be zero, of course. Oh. Well, game of all zeros works. What if we do a game of all fives? Yesterday, um, we I made an error. Uh, this score should be 150. But I scored the final roll as a uh, another frame. That what happened. Uh, all fives leaves us say 20, 21 fives. And it's not 150, it's just five. Oh my. Oh, you probably already spotted the mistake. Uh, and I didn't yet. Where do I go wrong? This is not a way to solve the bowling game kata. It's an interesting way to see what happens when you try to separate it into types of front. That's what Uncle Bobo says in this uh, bowling game kata explanation. The bowling game kata done as done by Uncle Bob is also in the uh, on the page that I link in the description. The page just shows the kata. Um, um, he explains that if you try to build classes up front and types without testing, uh, it's it gets a uh, yeah you get a weird design uh, and it's, the design is mostly overly complex, at least for the use cases that you are uh, having. It's interesting if you uh, uh, give it a read. Of course, that's yeah appropriate for Haskell as well. We don't do, use classes in that same way in Haskell, but uh, you can still make massive types, as you can see. What happens? Why is it just five? I should just... That's when you debug. I should just show what the game does, and to do that we have to um, drive show. So we can see what's happening here um, through stock. A frame doesn't, so add show here as well. And we can let uh, this is just an IO. We can print the game. I'm not sure where it ends up though. <laughs> I don't see it. Um, how do you print something in a HPEC test? Of course, let's fail this test on. Oh, oh, it did print, but I already scored the game. I'm confused. So, where does it print? It doesn't if I don't. I am so sorry. It's already 
the game is ah interesting <laughs> we have to reverse the list so we have uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine nine frames or fives and a final laurel oh length of frame descent oh we are we're making two mistakes first off we need to reverse this oh my uh, we have to do this only once and not in the recurse call so now we're popping from the end oh that makes that makes it all too different so we have to we can also we always see just the last two frames not the first two and work from that way down okay this helps and of course um, it stops at incomplete because I forgot if we have 10 um, a length of 10 it still can be that we have um, let's say the, the the first frame the last frame can be an incomplete frame okay i'm going over time let's see if i still can do this quickly is it uh, end no not <laughs> oh we need to case this I will do this another time I will I might do this tomorrow but I'm not sure if I'm going getting into this kind of uh, running the kata again um, thank you so much for watching uh, if you made it till here um, Tomorrow I will do the bowling game kata again. I will try to do this a few days uh, each week, each kata. Um, but let's let's try something else. Uh, this might work, but uh, we wrote only one test at the start and it got us this mess. Uh, we should not try a uh, complete a whole structure just based on one test if there is no need for it. Um, well, thank you for watching again. Uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, leave a like if you like this video. And well, again, see you tomorrow. Thank you.